Hi, this is the Soft Cell Electrical Channel, and I'm your host, John. Before we start the formula lesson, 6 of 12, and the third amperage formula, I'd like to take a moment and explain just what an amper represents. One amp is 6.241 times 10 to the 18th electrons moving through a conductor for one second. You can look at this two other ways. That is 6.241 billion billion or 6.241 quintillion electrons moving past a conductor in one second. The function and reality of the amp unit is that its primary purpose is to determine just how big of a conductor you need to safely transfer that energy as well as the size of the overcurrent device you need to protect that conductor. This is why all of my amp formulas defer to conductor size. If the amperage rating is not supplied on your device, you need to employ one of the three formulas I have provided for you to come up with the amperage. Only then can you determine the correct conductor and overcurrent protection size. Enough chit chat. The formula we're using today is volts divided by ohms gives you amperage. This formula is very useful in determining the ampacity of an electric motor when the faceplate is missing, damaged, or unreadable. Looking at the motor, you can test for ohms using the ends of the feed wires. So for now, we're assuming that the voltage supply is 208 volts. You have 208 volts divided by 3.78181818181818 into infinity ohms, which gives you a real-time amperage draw of 55 amps. Now that is a big draw of amps, but it underscores the importance of performing these tests so that you don't cause a fire or go broke on needlessly large wire. That pretty much sums up the amperage formulas. The next three lessons will focus on voltage. So, until then, thanks for watching and have a great day.